Hi friends, welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. Before I get started, let me say thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. If you like what you're seeing and you're enjoying How To Tuesdays, please like and subscribe and click the bell so you know when my next video drops. Every Tuesday I have a new How To Tuesday video. If you're someone who prefers real time, fully instructed, ad free, I have that over on my Patreon channel. The link will be down below in the description box. I would be honored if you would come and check it out. Okay. So today we're going to, you know, I'm an abstract girl. I love to do abstract portraits. I'm going to take it even quirkier today and try to keep it. And this is going to be hard for me because I love to add detail and I love to add like depth with shade and shadow and all that kind of stuff. But um, I've been really playing with the idea of line work, which I've been doing lately in my work with my How To Tuesdays. And it seems to me that you guys are having just as much fun and kind of like we're on the same wavelength. But I'd like to take it into portrait so, um, and of course, abstract, whimsical portrait, but um, I'm going to keep it as simple as I can keep it <laughs> because I do enjoy, like I said, I enjoy the detail work. I enjoy getting in there and creating and defining and the depth of the shadow and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we'll have some, but I'm going to try to keep it a light piece. And I knew I wanted to, that I knew I wanted that direction to be for my, that's the direction I wanted for my portrait, but I wasn't quite sure what kind of mediums I was going to use. I think for sure I'm going to have my paint, my watercolor paints. I'm sorry, I was thinking there. I'm going to have my watercolor paints, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I think watercolor for sure. And then we're going to go from there. So I did grab, this is my Prima Complexion palette. Love, 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 love. As you can see, this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I have a Tropicals palette that I've never used. This is, I, this is just from me doing this. Um, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to use these. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that's also from Prima. Pretty colors. And then I grab my fine liners, all different colored pens. And then, of course, I haven't used these in a long time. My Carbothello Chalk Pastel Pencils. There is a time when I use them every single project. Um, I still love them though. I still love, love, love them. And if you're looking for a gorgeous, gorgeous color, this is one of the best colors and it's 545 and it's hands down my favorite color out of the whole lot. Um, and then I also, this is from Sketchbox, but this is Kiritake. Um, it's a Sketchbox. It's exclusive, but I really like that color and I also love the orange. So, um, I thought I would grab this. I don't know if I'm going to use it though. I don't know. Um, I'm also grab my colored pencils. We're going to keep it at whimsical slash quirky light palette, a light palette, light color palette. You know what? I have a vintage palette somewhere, but maybe I'll grab that because it's new and I have not used it yet, but, um, I don't even know where I was going with that. Boink. <laughs> Anyways, got distracted by my watercolors and then, um, uh, my colored pencils I have, these are my Prisma. Uh, colored colored pencils prisma colored pencils and I love them I love them I've seen a lot of people working with um, colored pencils lately which is so exciting it's a lot it's a longer process if you're doing a project that has a lot of colored pencil in it because it takes time right colored pencils are meant to be layered um, uh, so especially I mean these work beautifully that way. They have the, a, somewhat of a creamy texture and they lay really beautifully on top of each other. Definitely you want to go in with light layers as you work with them. Today I'm not going to do a lot of layering with these. It's just going to be, I want to use them for kind of a pop of color. But um, yeah, they, they require a lot of layering and you go in light and you build up. It's easier to build up than it is to take away. So yes, little tiny tip with colored pencils. Um, I grabbed a couple black pens. I have my fi Faber Castell Pit Artist pen. This is size M and then also size F, which is that's that tip. This is a little finer, and this one's a little thicker. Both fantastic. And then I grabbed, of course, my trusty black and white charcoal, General's charcoal. I absolutely love them. And then I have my um, General Graph Gear one th General. Whew. No. Graph Gear 1000 0.3 mechanical pencil, and then my Tombow Model Knock eraser, and uh, Uni Pasca white pen, white paint pen. Love it because it's nice and crisp and white. And then just a couple different size watercolor brushes. It's up to you, whatever you want, if you have them. And um, I use the watercolor with only my watercolor. I don't use it with anything else because I don't want to damage my brush. And my substrate is Fabriano Hot Press, 140 pounds. I've cut down my paper uh, by 9 by 12 to uh, a half size. Ooh, ooh, 
And then I just grab my um, porcelain paint palette to work some color if I want to, if I choose to. So I have some little, you know, some spare spots. I might even use something that's here already. So yeah, I'm feeling because the spring where I'm at right now is like in full bloom, full bloom. And I'm so excited because I'm new to where I'm at. And, um, you know, that's always the fun part because you don't know what all the foliage is going to look like. And I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so the foliage is popping, let me tell you. And it's just, it's so exciting. So I'm inspired by that, as are my nails. <laughs> so uh, my daughter said, yeah, your mom, your nails look like your art. <laughs> it's like, actually, they do. <laughs> so um, yeah, so there we go. I'm going to clean up a little bit and then situate some and then we'll get started. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy spring. I'll be right back.